Hi, this is Seth Wilder from SonicElectronics.com here at SEMA 2009. And I'm at the Kicker booth right now with Aaron Malin. And we are standing in front of one of their incredible new show cars that was built specifically for this show. And I'm going to have Aaron tell you a little bit more about it. Thank you, Seth. All we have in here are not one, but two Dolby Digital 5.1 surround sound systems. The front seat passengers have their own surround sound, and the back seat passengers have their own surround sound, including center channel. And then, of course, the two CVX-15s bring up the bass for everybody in the vehicle and some people outside the vehicle. Now, in this vehicle, why did you choose the CVX subwoofers over maybe an L7 or some of the newer Solo Classics? Good question. The CVX is known as one of the best sounding subwoofers at the People and Kicker. We really like the sound of the CVX because it's based on the L7 square subwoofer technology, but because it's round, it's actually a lighter cone, so the motor structure from the L7 has more control of the smaller, lighter cone. Now, they won't play quite as loud as the square cone, but they're an awesome sounding subwoofer. Now, is there any history behind the vehicle as far as why you chose this particular vehicle? Yes. Our good friends at Toyota hooked us up with this ride. They do such a great job working with us on the OE side of things that we wanted to impress them and their viewers with this kind of equipment. So we took this Sequoia, decked it out, and when it's all done, we're going to let those guys run with it as well. Now, what type of uh, OEM integration or maybe sound processing do you have inside the vehicle? We've actually used the factory head unit, which is made by JBL, and it's a really good quality head unit that has a lot of processor power built into it. So we chose to maintain that head unit and then use our Soundgate Electronics interface products to make it work with our aftermarket stuff. So we can maintain the integrity and the factory look and the factory function, but still get all the kicker gear in the system. Okay. And I think you mentioned there were a couple different like two different 5.1 systems and they're running off the QS speakers, correct? Correct. Now, why did you choose the QS? Obviously, they're the top of the line, but what type of uh, advantage do you have in the QS over the KS or the RS? Well, like you said, they are top of the line. So they are engineered and designed for the absolute supreme sound quality. The big difference is they'll handle a ton more power than the more efficient KS and RS speakers, but they're also just such a sweet sounding speaker it allows us to really tailor the sound for whatever the environment is. And it's always nice to showcase your best stuff anyway. Very true. Now, I see you, you had it running off a couple of kinetic batteries. What type of batteries are, are in there, and how are they powering the whole system? Well, kinetic will slap me if I don't correct you and say they're power cells, not batteries. Oh, Go kinetic. my bad. <laughs> but yes, they are kinetic power cells. And we choose kinetic because they're such a reliable, high current, high quality product. And they take really good care of us, so we like to help them out as well. Now, Aaron, is there anything special about the headrest monitors inside the vehicle? Yes, there is. When we were designing this project, we knew we were going to do two 5.1 surround sound systems. And we had to have the best televisions to go with it. Mm -hmm. So we called our good friends at Visual Logic and said, hey, this is what we're doing. Can you help us out? And they said, well, yeah, tell us what you need. They actually custom wrapped these headrest monitors to match the interior of our vehicle. So they really went above and beyond to hook us up with this project. So other than the, the factory signal processors or any of the OEM integration that you did with the Soundgate uh, equipment, are there any other signal processors? Yes. We have two of our KQ30 30-band equalizers. One for the front surround sound, one for the rear surround sound. And that allows us to completely tailor the vehicle and the speakers to give us the perfect sound. So each 5.1 surround sound system has its own 30-band equalizer? Correct. It's overkill, but it's what we do. Okay. Well, very nice. Is there anything else that, that everyone needs to know about this vehicle before we close? It is the most fun to drive around the boulevard when you've got a kicking system like this that sounds good in a vehicle that looks so hot. So that is absolutely the thing I want to leave your readers with. Well, thank you very much, Aaron. From SEMA 2009, my name is Seth Wild. This is SonicElectronics.com.